So it began as a novel idea by a New York store owner who wanted to cater to a very specific clientele, the smoker. His idea let the customers roll their own smokes. Well, the concept caught on quickly, but as Richard Roth reports, the make-it-yourself cigarette shop is being snuffed out. You could call this story the mirage of Staten Island. In a city where smokers in public can be shot on sight, a store open where people can make their own cigarettes. I said, wow, why, why didn't I think about it? <laughs> By rolling their own, smokers said their cigarettes were healthier, tasted better, and... You can't beat the price, so, I mean, a half an hour out of my week really doesn't, you know, turn me away at all. You know, if anything, it's fine. I just roll my carton and I go. How big a price break when customers make their own cigs? In the city of New York, in the five boroughs, it is 14 to $15 per pack of cigarettes. It's approximately four dollars here. Pre-packaged cigarettes in New York cost so much because of city and state taxes of more than six dollars a pack. Tobacco makers are passing costs on for treating smoke-related illnesses. The reason for the store's low prices is that the shop says doesn't actually sell cigarettes but only the paper tubes and a lower tax loose tobacco that fill them. The customers themselves use the machines to assemble or roll them into finished form. Business boomed. The owners opened another store and planned further expansion. Then New York City got wind of the smokehouse and challenged the concept. That's very upsetting. New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg has been an outspoken critic of secondhand smoke and has successfully pushed for smoking bans throughout New York. The city charged Island Smokes with violating cigarette tax laws and being a manufacturer of cigarettes. The stores are really no different than a salad bar. When you go and you go to a salad bar, they don't sell you a salad assembly process. They sell you a salad. And that's what these stores are not selling you a cigarette assembly process. They're selling you cigarettes. All of what they make here on their own with use of the machines and by purchasing the product to make the cigarettes uh, are for their own personal use. In the end, the smoke shop decided to not fight City Hall. Court costs would have been devastating. The eight-month-old store will close in February. I may have to roll my own at home. <laughs> Richard Roth, <laughs> you know, CNN, New York.